afternoon. This is Dorothy Simon sitting in for Jim Lakey over here at Cable Channel 3. And you can catch us on the web at sandylandcenter.org. Today is Friday, and would you believe it? It's the last weekend in September. The month has really gone by very quickly. And uh, we are right in the middle of our harvesting of the corn, so do be careful out there in these times. The weather in our area, there's still a, a prevailing cold front that stretches over all the upper mid Midwest and this brings with it a chance for some showers and thunderstorms ahead of this cold front, especially in the western part of the state. There's even a possibility of a tornado in the western areas as well. With the winds gusting southerly at 30 miles per hour, it will blow, blow in this cold weather over the area with our highs in the 70s to the 80s. And as the cold front persists, it will turn cooler and the cool air will spread eastwards through the plains and the Midwest this weekend and will lower the temperatures maybe 5 to 10 degrees lower um, than we are accustomed to below the average temperatures for this time of the year. But right now in the square, it's a blustery, um, windy, maybe up to 27 miles per hour. We do have some clear blue skies, uh, but the temperature is right at 84. And over the next six hours, it should remain sunny and windy with the temperatures um, rising to the 88s or even 90s, low 90s and the winds should remain right in there 20 to 25 miles per hour coming in from the south. Uh, the low for this evening should be in the 60s with an 80% chance of rain and isolated thunderstorms. And some of these storms could be quite um, severe with some large hailstones. So watch out for the change in temperature this evening and maybe the early part of the weekend. Um, tomorrow, high, tomorrow highs should be around 74 with the lows at 47 and there's a 30% chance of rain and the wind will shift and come in from the north, northwest at about 60 miles per hour. And on Sunday, the highs should be right at 79 and the lows going dipping below 50s right at 49, 48, 49. Uh, but there's no chance of rain for Sunday. So we, we should see a change in the weather pattern over this weekend. In our community we have several birthdays. Um, today we want to um, wish Kim Hellman a happy birthday. Kim and Melissa Long have birthdays today, the 28th, and then there's an anniversary that Jerry and Carl Long will be celebrating on the 28th. And then on the 29th, we have um, Steve and Marsha Dryden are celebrating their anniversary. And on the 30th, it's Norma's birthday. Norma Bright, Cage Daly, Renee Doggett, and Anne Keeley all have birthdays on the 30th. So wish them a happy birthday as you go through the weekend. And on the 1st of October, wish Terry Welsh a happy birthday. Okay, some other uh, activities in over the weekend. Um, tonight is the Stafford County Senior Picnic. We've talked, we've been talking about that, and that's in the Hudson Community Hall tonight at 6 p.m. And the meal is totally catered for, so everything will be furnished. But they will take up a free will offering. And there is um, entertainment planned for you this evening. So come on out and enjoy the senior picnic at the Hudson Community Hall at 6 p.m. Uh, sorry, my mistake. That's tomorrow, Saturday the 28th. Saturday the 28th is the senior picnic at um, the Hudson Community Center. And on Saturday morning, the mayor is inviting you to come out and talk with her at the 
Pizza Hut, Poppy's Pizza, um, 3rd at Main, from 9 to 11. You're invited for coffee and cookies with Julian Oynes, the mayor of St. John. This is a very casual and informal get-together, and you're encouraged to bring your questions, comments, and concerns to the table. It's a great opportunity to meet the mayor and hear her and share your thoughts for the future of St. John. So if you have some good ideas and suggestions, bring it along and sit down and have a cup of coffee with the mayor. And our senior center has an active um, agenda here for us, so mark your calendars. Uh, on Monday, there's a trip to Dodge City Casino, and the bus will be leaving at 8 o'clock, and they should leave Dodge around 2.30 or 3 o'clock to arrive back at St. John at 4 o'clock. And so the cost for that is only $10. So Monday the 30th, the Senior Center shopping at the mall in Dodge City. Then on Thursday, October the 10th, there's a trip planned to Hutchison, and the lunch at the Pizza Ranch um, promises to be quite interesting. As you shop at Smith's Market and the new Dillon's Superstore, and if you haven't seen that, that's worth seeing. So, um, book to leave here at nine o'clock, uh, St. John, and to return by four o'clock. And the cost for that trip is only twenty dollars. Lunch and transportation and coolers provided for items purchased that need to be cool. So lots of service that the Senior Center will be um, giving you on that trip. And on Saturday the 26th, mark your calendars, that's the night they plan for the movie. And they will meet again at Poppy's Pizza and leave for Great Bend. The movie this time is at Great Bend uh, at the Golden Belt Cinema. And I'm told there you have a choice of different cinemas, so different shows, so you can pick what show you'd like. And cost is only $20. So do call over at the um, Senior Center if you want to um, be on any of those trips on those dates. And we remind you later on of some of them also. And don't forget why we are at it that the Stafford County Health Department is now offering flu shots. And they will bill Medicare for you and um, any other insurance that, private insurance that you will use. So bring your insurance card with you and call them over at 549 3504 or 1877. 517-3504 for more information. That's a good service that they're offering over at the Stafford County Health Department and the cost for that is only $20. And they will do a lot of the paperwork for you, so remember that. And today we have some menus here. Um, over at the sunny... Uh, this is St. John's Senior Center, uh, on the menu for today, it's sweet and sour pork, steamed rice, steamed broccoli, strawberry mold salad, frozen fruit dessert. And on Monday, they will serve up chicken strips, mashed potato with gravy, seasoned peas, and a carrot coconut salad with a fresh fruit cup. So that's over at the Sunflower Senior Center. And um, over at the Maxville Center, we have today taco salad, corn, um, pineapple tidbits, and on Monday it should be pork chop, sweet potato, uh, California, California blend vegetables, rolled apricots, and your usual tea, coffee, and um, salads. So do call them if you wish to have any of those services or delivered to you 
or come out to the center where it will be served. Uh, yes, our thought for today is on love. We may give without loving, but we cannot live without giving. We cannot love without giving. And also remember, a baby is born with its need to be loved, and he never outgrows it. So have a great weekend and come out and enjoy the beautiful weather that's in store for you this weekend.